Now, Israel, national water company, has cut off supplies to tens of thousands of Palestinians living in the occupied West Bank. Mekorot has decided to close the valves which supply major areas of the northern West Bank. The city of Salfit and surrounding villages, including Janine, have been affected. The company provides around 50% of domestic water supply to the occupied territory. We can talk now um, via Skype from the occupied East Jerusalem to Ayman Rabi, who's executive director of the Palestinian Hydrology Group, which focuses on water and resources development. Thank you for talking to us. Um, can you describe for us then how the majority of the 1.7 or so million people in the occupied West Bank actually get their water? Is it through pipes? How do they receive their domestic water? Yeah. Uh, well, as you know, uh, since uh, Palestinians are not uh, in control of their water resources, they are uh, obliged to rely on the supply that it is provided to them, uh, as you mentioned, more than 50 percent, uh, and particularly 56 percent of this supply is being purchased uh, by the Israeli company. Uh, of course, the supply is through uh, organized, let's say, water uh, supply systems or network. Uh, for most of the villages and towns, uh, uh, some of the towns are dependent totally on this purchased water from the Israeli company. And therefore, any reduction to the quantity which is happening right now is affecting seriously uh, water situation and people and businesses in those, uh, uh, in those areas. Uh, in some areas, since 40 days, they are not receiving any drop of water and they are really relying on purchasing uh, water through water tankering or trucks. Uh, from uh, alternative sources like springs or any other filling points which is in the vicinity. Uh, some of them uh, have to wait for a long time before they can get served, and this is also affecting uh, not only the livelihood and economy, but also the, uh, the hygiene condition and, of course, health uh, uh, in general for indeed, those, uh, for those indeed, areas. Because we're, we're approaching the height of the summer, aren't we? And, of course, we're in the holy, holy month of Ramadan as well. What reason, yes. what justification does this water company, Mekorot, give for shutting off water to so many people? Unfortunately, there is no any justification and there is no any reason. In the time that Israel uh, markets itself as a water-rich country at the time being, since they are now producing uh, uh, more than what they need of desalinated water and uh, they are not really utilizing this water, they are cutting water from Palestinian communities under, under the kind of pretext that the water is not sufficient. So there is a really a contradiction that I, I, uh, we cannot really understand how this uh, policy is working. And of course, I cannot describe it, uh, but only just to make more pressure in Palestinian communities. So when this company does shuts off the water, as it's done in the past, what do Palestinian people in the occupied West Bank actually do for water? I mean, how are they able to, to, to wash, to, to, to bathe, and to carry on with ordinary domestic duties, not, not to mention drinking water? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, there is little that can be done. But of course, they have no choice but to conserve as much as they can. And uh, families, uh, uh, I tell you frankly, families are, are, who have to live with two, three, uh, or 10 liters per capita per day, which is, of course, the minimum ever that you can think of. Uh, especially in this kind of hot, uh, hot season and, of course, especially during Ramadan uh, uh, month. Okay. Ayman Rami, thank you very much indeed for talking to us here at Al Jazeera. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.